Welcome back to the workshop, guys. Today we have a real special restoration here. We don't have a whole lot to start with. A lot of work to be done, but this is gonna be a real satisfying one. I think we're gonna have something in the end that's real special. Look at this beautiful creation, guys. Joseph Allen and Son, Sheffield, England. If I'm not mistaken, just popped in my mind, I'm pretty sure I have a straight razor made by Joseph Allen and Sons in Sheffield. Same company, but this belongs to a client of mine, sent it in to have it rebuilt. Obviously, we can see big issue right now. That handle is gone, destroyed. Look at that. We've got lots of rusting on the tang there. That's probably all the way up through. It's probably seeped in there. But of course, that stag, probably real stag, but hard to tell. It could be like a Bakelite type material imitation. For it to fracture like this, that's probably what it is actually. But just a very simple three pin construction, but of course broke at the weakest point. Bakelite, or those types of synthetics, old synthetics like that, get very brittle with, uh, with age, extremely brittle. That's why so many of those old straight razors just don't have scales or just little bits and pieces of scales left. Guard looks beautiful, in great shape, so make sure to restore that to proper condition. And then we have this, I won't say heavy rust, it is a, a fairly heavy coat of rust, but it doesn't seem to be deep. It's a real chalky texture, so uh, I think we're gonna be able to carve that off good. We got some nice stamping here in the blade. We're not gonna lose any of that. We're just gonna wire wheel it, and uh, we'll see what it looks like. Okay, I'm in the grinding room here now getting set up. The first thing, the first step on this Joseph Allen's is to remove those scales. That way when I take it to the grinder, I'll, I'll see then if I can easily pop off that brass guard as well. But we'll grind off the heads of those pins, very quick and simple here, snip, 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 so we can punch them through, we'll pop those scales off, we'll remove that brass guard, and then we can go to town, wire wheeling, grinding out that tang, prepping for reassembly. So that's what I'm gonna get it set up here for now. Not too aggressive of a belt, probably, uh, well, I'll just go with a worn 60. Doesn't matter, those scales are destroyed anyways. I'm gonna get uh, the extractor on so you won't hear anything now. Wanna pull any of that Bakelite dust out of the room. We'll take our time here. Now I've removed those scales, just they slip right off with the pins. Now this should be able, this you see, this uh, tang here reduced all the way down. So this should slip off. But we have a lot of rust and scaling just as I forecasted. So I'm just going to carve off a lot of that first, just so I don't have to pound that guard off with too much force. This is a brass guard, we don't want to do too much beating on it. Now hopefully this is real nice and easy. You can see I've braced up against the brass here. Yeah, real simple. That's just a nice clean design there. My next step here now guys, before I start wire wheeling that, this knife actually has a pretty crisp edge. If I done too much moving around, it's kind of toothy as well, but done too much moving around, I'd end up uh, cutting myself, I fear. So I'm gonna go ahead and joint the edge, but I'm also gonna go ahead and carve out that nasty recurve that's been worn in there over the years.
Okay guys, I'm gonna chuck this in the soft jaw now. I can't exactly hammer backwards on the tip, so I gotta put it back in this way, but I'm just going to uh, work it into place like this here. Going on the same way it came off. We'll just go till it bottoms out. We're almost there. I think it's just a, a pressure fit, so we just go until it gets tight, which is right about right about there. That's where we're at so far. Don't mind that uh, that marking there. That's just oil from the soft jawed vise where I just had it bench. But you can see the blade is stripped down. Blade stripped down real nice, cleaned up real nice. Joint at that edge. Notice no wonky recurves or anything. Nice long straight edge. We brought it back to a point which was rounded off. We have that guard. I polished up that front edge. We fitted it on. So now we got to go ahead and uh, get some scales, drill them out. Get them epoxied in place and get this set up to cure overnight. And have a look at our results now. What a beautiful piece that Joseph Allen and Sons. Just for me, that is the perfect amount of patina right there on an old knife. You don't have that bright steel, but it's not rough either. Nice and slick. You can see the insignia really well. Fresh finished brass all the way around. Nice clean tang now, new pins and that Bacot wood, which I think is just stunning. Looks so sharp. Pretty clean, clean lines. Took our time, real good work. I think our client will be pleased with that. Have a look outside here. Look at the ocean there this evening. The sun's going down there now. We're approaching end of day. Thanks for watching, hit that like button. Check out my website, codnosley.com. Lots of stock there now, you'll be happy to see Subscribe if it's your first time here and we'll see you in the next video.